Okay, we've got one more painting to do, unless there's anyone else who is burning to say anything. And actually, there's going to be some sharing around this next one because we're we're not going to say too much about this one, and we're going to let let one or two people say what they see, uh, and then we're going to create from that. altogether different yeah yeah so you can at least give the background on this one lenny i mean because i know that this one was literally painted very recently yes this was painted last week and i was actually doing a video of myself painting it which is an experience in itself because part of painting is actually getting into my own space and just letting go uh but where I've been at lately is, is wanting to be in the light, let's say. I don't want to say too much about it, except um, th there was just such a sense to me of, of, of light and life. It's very beautiful. Thank you. There it is. Yeah, so who wants to, who, who wants a Jill? So when I'm sharing like this, I can't see anyone. So Jill, I'll rely on you to invite people to share if they want to share what they, what they see in this. Catherine's hand up, Catherine. Oh, was my hand up? Well, maybe uh, you were reaching for your computer. It looked I looked. I like might have been reaching for my computer, but it's very different. What a departure from what you've been doing. It's really, um, oh, I just love the energy. Your paintings are exquisite. I just love the space that you create. Um, that's occurring is wild and fresh. Wild and fresh. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Certainly capturing the energy of spring, things bursting, bursting out. Oh, yeah, that's really cool. Beautiful. Very good. Thank you. Beverly Care is that message? There's lots of them, Claude. Who else? I want to hear. I want to hear a handful of um, responses to this painting. Bob's chat message is very Monet. I like that. Oh, I, I can't see the chat either. So <laughs> actually, I can. I think I can have. I can arrange to see the chat. Just give me a second. There you here. go. <laughs> that would be. That would be the sensible thing to do. Lenny, we right will copy out all the comments. Right now, I'm looking at a full screen oh, image oh. of the painting, and that's all I see. <laughs> well, it's interesting what Catherine said because it's actually called Burst of Spring. Yes. I there you go. <laughs> Aptly named. And, you know, I would call it, uh, this isn't, I don't think, an official word, but I would call it an abscape. It's like an abstract landscape. Mm hmm. It has that that feeling of it. Yeah. Do you see what Bob said there, Lenny? No, I'm not seeing. Very Monet. Oh, thank you. Yes, I was looking. You know, I every once in a while, I well, not every once in a while. I I, I love my art books, and I was looking at some of Monet's later work when he could not see as well, which to me I feel is Monet's best work because it was semi-abstract in my opinion. And the colors and the movement and uh, the energy that he captured. Yeah. So I, it's, uh, I just thought you would like that because you shared that you were yeah. being influenced by Monet these days and yeah. <laughs> someone said that, so that's great. Anything else for anyone? Catherine's appreciating the use of the white space and Kit has yeah. her hand up. Kit, what would you like? All to right. Uh, one word: vibrant. Mm. Vibrant. Yeah. Yeah, Maybe I think we got the world of that. it. It's it's pretty Did clear. <laughs> okay. No, no, you said that. You said that. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> it's perfect. It's, um, that's what it comes to my mind. It's yeah. All right. Any 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 last words before we do this last improvisation? I, my sense in, in looking at it and experiencing everything is that springtime this year is just extra. It's a renewal in a lot of ways um, yeah. after the year that we've had. So, Lenny, All I right. love it. 
It's really beautiful. Um, I'm so I'm so happy. And, and one thing I will point out is those areas that might look black are actually a dark purple. Yeah. So part of it might look black, but that's, again, I wanted to keep yeah. color on color on color. Interesting um, comment from Bruce reminds me of Vincent at Arles. I think that's re referencing Vincent van Gogh, isn't it? Yes. Oh my gosh. I, you know, when I'm putting down the brush strokes, I'm really, the, those brush strokes are really important to me, especially in the, that pink and quinacrinone magenta and red area, the way I laid down my brush strokes. So thank you. Great. Okay, let's do this one. I think, I think we're all in agreement that there's the vibrant, bursting, spring-like quality to it, wild and fresh like uh, Catherine has said. Emily Carr in France. Oh my goodness, look at all these references to artists. Do you know who Emily Carr is, Lenny? Mm -mm. No, I don't. But Emily I... Carr is, is British Columbia's famous painter from the past. Oh, okay. So, Thank yeah. you. Yeah.
felt so happy hearing that. <laughs> it was like I was jumping around. <laughs> that was the wildest that... applause you've gotten yet, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Well, look at the time, Jill. It's time to wrap up. So first of all, Lenny, thank you so much for um, to agreeing to come and share your artwork.